how many living creatures do we have in the world today? It is estimated that there are currently about 8.7 million living species in the world, and that's just insane, considering the fact that I can barely name a few dozen of animals and a handful of plants. Clearly, there's so much to see out there, so much to learn. A visit to the zoo or a bit of web browsing can shine some new information regarding the lives of species that we don't know about, though. However, it would take us an infinite amount of time to actually get through 8.7 million of them. And some of those creatures are pretty mysterious. They live in hidden places and they have very interesting and unexpected features that you can't find in other living creatures out there. Today we'll be looking at 10 of the most mysterious creatures in the world. You'll be fascinated to see how diverse these creatures are. Some of them have odd looks and some of them look like something out of a fantasy book. The one at the top of this list looks like it might be related to the dinosaurs, so look forward to that one. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Australian Walking Stick Our first creature on this list is an insect. Expect to see a few of that group on the list. After all, we tend to avoid insects, so it makes sense that we know so little about them. The Australian Walking Stick is quite literally that, a walking stick. You might see it from afar and think it's part of a tree branch, but in fact, it's an insect, and it uses its stick-like looks to camouflage and fool any predators in the wild. Some people say it looks like a mantis, but this curved body insect is very different to the mantis. While the mantis is a carnivore, the walking stick is a herbivore. Its main source of food is the eucalyptus tree, which is also where it lives, and you can find it in Australia. Of course, the country with the weirdest animals in the world. Walking stick females are a bit longer than males, and they can lay up to 200 eggs per year. They can start having kids as early as four months, and that sounds pretty early, but it actually makes sense for an insect that only lives for a bit less than a year. Number 9. Frilled Sharks The frilled shark lives in different parts of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, but surprisingly, we know very little about it. It's so rare that some people call it a living fossil, which does make sense because it really looks like a prehistoric creature. In fact, this peculiar animal could potentially be a link to the past and can provide some information about animals that are now extinct. The animal looks more like an eel instead of a shark. Surprisingly, it was until the year of 2004 that someone was able to take a picture of it. That's because the frilled shark lives in the depths of the ocean, far from the spots that scuba divers usually visit. An interesting fact about this mysterious creature is that it's probably the one with the longest gestation period among other animals. The gestation period can last up to three years and a half. And also, the frilled shark is the second largest fish in the world, measuring up to 15.2 meters long, which is slightly shorter than the largest whale shark ever recorded. Number 8. Vampire Squids Is it an octopus or is it a squid? Actually, it's neither of those. The vampire squid is so unique that scientists separated it into its own group. Surely, it looks like its relatives with its eight arms and its two tentacles, but what makes this animal different is the skin that connects its arms. Funny enough, it kind of makes it look like it's wearing a cape, kind of like Dracula. And that's why it's called the Vampire Squid. So don't worry about getting your blood sucked by this animal. Its name has nothing to do with that. Actually, this species is quite harmless. When threatened, it might invert its cape and show a set of large spines, but the animal can't really harm large creatures. Instead, its source of food comes from small particles that it catches with sticky cells on its tentacles. On the other hand, the vampire squid is a victim to other larger animals. While squids and octopus are known for their release of black ink to escape predators, the vampire squid doesn't have that feature. That would be useless in the dark spawns of the ocean, which is where it lives. However, the vampire squid releases a colorless substance that has light-producing material, which confuses the predators and allows the vampire squid to escape. Number 7. The Fangtooth Fish And here's another aquatic creature. Just a look at it will show you where it got its name. The Fangtooth Fish has a mouthful of long and pointy teeth that are used to catch and devour any creature that gets in its way. Usually, they spend their time in the depths of the ocean, at about 5,000 meters deep. But they come to the surface at night to feed on crustaceans and other fish. They are known to be the most active deep sea fish as they actually go and seek their food rather than wait in the darkness until something shows up. However, unlike other deep sea animals, the fangtooth fish is not capable of producing light. 
Instead, it uses its sense of smell to find the food, and it benefits from even the slightest bit of sun, which can cast a shadow on the prey as they swim overhead. They certainly look scary, but don't worry if you ever see one. They're harmless to humans, and they're usually smaller than 7 inches long. Number 6. The Hummingbird Moth This is honestly one of the stranger creatures I've seen. It looks and acts like a hummingbird, but it's actually a moth. You can find it in the warm regions of Northern Africa and Southern Europe, but you shouldn't be surprised if you see it in places like Japan as this creature is a native to the northern part of the Old World. Their wings are strong and allow them to fly far. However, they don't do well in cold places like Russia. Their wingspan can be as big as 1.8 inches long. Their forewings are brown and their hind wings are brown and orange. There is really no specific time to spot them. They come out at both daytime and during sunset hours, and you're likely to encounter them hovering over flowers, just like a hummingbird. In some places, these creatures are considered a good omen. There is one event in particular in which this theory became real. There was a swarm of moths flying across the English Channel during D-Day. When you have a closer look at these creatures, you'll realize that they resemble an Egyptian sphinx. That's why they belong to a family of insects called Sphingidae. Number 5. Japanese Spider Crabs If you're not a fan of spiders or crabs, I doubt you're going to like the next animal on this list. Not only does it share some features with those animals, but it also is known as one of the largest animals in the ocean. The Japanese Spider Crab has the largest leg span of any arthropod. That means their legs are longer than the legs of any spider, centipede, crab, or any other joint-legged creature. These animals can be as big as 3 meters wide, and their legs can be up to 4 meters long. That's about twice the size of a human being. On top of that, they're also known to be the longest living crabs. Some of them can live up to 100 years. A large and long living animal surely does sound intimidating, but they're actually pretty fragile. Most spider crabs lose at least one of their legs during their lifetime, which shows that nothing about these animals should scare us. However, when their legs are twice our size, I doubt any of us will want to be near them. Number 4. The Scorpion Fly Here is another animal that borrows names from the two animals that it resembles, the Scorpion Fly. Just have a look at that thing and you'll realize that it actually looks like a scorpion, especially the tail of the male Scorpion Fly. However, as opposed to the regular scorpion, the Scorpion Fly doesn't sing with its tail. They just happen to have a long body with long antennae and beaks. This strange animal is known for scavenging on dead animals, and a lot of times it steals food from spider webs. I'd say that's pretty sneaky. Their black and yellow bodies along with their reddish head make them stand out among other insects. They usually mate at night, but males should always do this with caution. Otherwise, the female scorpion fly could kill him. For that reason, males always come before them with gifts such as dead insects or a mass of saliva. Ah, romance is still alive. Number 3. Axolotl The axolotl is a rare type of salamander from Mexico, and it's also known as the Mexican walking fish. And you can see it as some sort of little arms popping out of its body, which is what allows it to walk when it's in the water. I've talked about this animal before, and one of the things I find pretty interesting about it is the fact that some people have found ways to adopt them as pets. This is hands down the most exotic pet I've ever heard about. As an amphibian, this animal has lungs and gills that should allow it to live in and out of the water. However, as opposed, the axolotl is known for living underwater throughout all of its lifetime. These animals are endangered, and part of that is due to the fact that their skin is very sensitive. For that reason, if you ever get one as a pet, I'd like to ask you to please, please, please keep your hands away from it. But by all means, go and adopt one if you can. It seems like doing this is helping their species survive extinction, so I seriously hope that all axolotl human parents are taking good care of their pets. Now it's time for the day's best pick. If you see this on the sand, you might think it's some sort of weird water bottle. But if you look closely, you'll realize that this is actually an animal. One that can cause a ton of pain. Let's check it out with number two. The Blue Bottle. Alright, let's make something clear. This creature is actually not a jellyfish. I know some people call it the blue bottle jellyfish, but scientists actually have this creature in its own group. It's called the siphonophores. 
You can easily recognize this animal by its blue sack filled with gas and its tentacles. Every year, thousands of blue bottle stings are reported along the beach shores of Australia. It's said that their sting is very painful and it can cause swelling. And if you ever get one of its tentacles attached to you, you should carefully remove it with tweezers. It definitely sounds awful, but we gotta admit the blue bottle is a pretty cool looking creature. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, he does leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. Alligator Gar. At the top of this list we have a crazy looking fish. People say this is a relic of the dinosaur date, with origins that date back about a hundred million years. Their snout is very similar to that of alligators, filled with sharp teeth and with some adaptations that allow it to breathe air. Surprisingly, these animals are very friendly. Although I'm sure a lot of creatures want to stay away from those sharp teeth. If you ever want to see one of these, just head over to freshwater rivers and lakes, such as the Missouri River or the Rio Grande. The world is indeed full of crazy creatures, and we obviously have so much to learn. Which one of these mysterious creatures was your favorite? Are there any other mysterious creatures that you know about? Let us know in the comment section down below. That's our video for today, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.